Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is Pentecost Sunday and we thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Our reading today is from the Gospel of John chapter 20 from verse 19 to 23. Our topic is titled, Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. Our Lord Jesus Christ, before his death and resurrection, had told the disciples that they will receive the Holy Spirit, who will abide with them forever. The passage today tells us about one of the encounters of our Lord Jesus Christ after his resurrection. He declared and released peace and the Holy Spirit to the disciples. The Holy Spirit was promised long before he left the disciples. Now he breathed on them and released the Holy Spirit to them. It is the Spirit of God to enable them to do the work of God and live the kind of life that God wants them to live. The truth is that without the presence and indwelling of the Holy Spirit, we cannot be the kind of people that God desires to worship Him. Hear me again. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot be the kind of people that God wants us to be. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is our advocate. The Holy Spirit enables us, empowers us to obey the commandments of God and to live the life that pleases God. The Holy Spirit is for all Christians and Christ has released him to us. I want to ask you, child of God, have you received the Holy Spirit? Is the Holy Spirit controlling your actions? Is the Holy Spirit in your life? Is the Holy Spirit leading you, guiding you, showing you the way? I pray for you that is hearing this message. May you receive the Holy Spirit and be empowered by Him to live the type of life that pleases God through Christ our Lord. Amen. Child of God, you are nothing without the Holy Spirit. Child of God, you are incomplete without the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Holy Spirit will abide in us. I pray that the Holy Spirit will showcase himself in us. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us. By the time you encounter the Holy Spirit, your life will never remain the same again. By the time you encounter the Holy Spirit, your your life will showcase Jesus in you. People will see that there is a difference be, be in your life before now and now, after now. I pray that you receive the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that the Holy Spirit will come and take absolute control in everything that you are doing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because today is the Pentecost Sunday and we are celebrating the Holy Spirit, I want you to please Sing this Holy Spirit song to the Lord. Sing Holy Spirit song as many as you know to this Holy Spirit. And appreciate the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. And enkindle in us the fire of your love. Amen. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, Take control as I'm walking along the road. The road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, lead me through. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead you through in everything you're doing. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Happy Pentecost Sunday and may Holy Spirit fill in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.